Everybody, welcome back. Hope you're enjoying the Coyotes week. Gosh, I'm having a lot of fun bringing it to you. Hey, in the spotlight today, the all-new clamp meter, ACDC clamp meter at that, the Coyotes HT2060 for your cheap clamp pleasure. Let's take a look. a ton of requests from viewers lately saying hey man we need some clamp meters reviewed i hear you i hear you this is just one of many i will be reviewing in the not too distant future oh yes it is one good looking clamp meter that red and black look amazing uh makes it look very very high end and you know what this thing looks like a million bucks but it only costs like 50. Big shout out again to Kaiweets for supplying the HT2060 for this review. Thank you, Kaiweets. Okay, so we shipped in a pretty decent looking case again. Now we don't have the nice Kaiweets logo here. Um, sort of a more standard fare enclosure, but hey, that's okay. A case is a case and I'll take it. Also has a, a thermoprobe because yes, the Kaiweets does do temperature in Celsius and Fahrenheit. And once again, we have some Kaiweets test leads, which we will take a look at shortly. And of course we get our Kaiweets user manual. And what do we have here? It looks like it's a pullout. Okay, so it's a pullout here with the basic specs. And I've got to say this meter has some pretty impressive specs all around. Uh, I think you're going to be pleasantly surprised. When you pick up this Kaiweet Spinner for the first time, uh, you're going to be impressed because it has a pretty good weight to it for being such a small clamp meter, but it has a very, very solid tactile feel. It's not a rubber boot. It is a plastic boot. There is no um, rubber membrane or anything. Strictly plastic, but that being said, has a really nice grip embedded into the design, and overall, it just feels really nice. And that clamp as well, very easy to open and close, but I'm telling you, very solid and tactile as well. On the back, we have that one Phillips screw to uh, change the battery. It's uh, powered by one, I'm sorry, by two AAA batteries. Uh, yeah, so all in all, first impressions, good, good quality. Test leads themselves are standard PVC sharp tip, and uh, they have an interesting little split design here. If you look at that, see that kind of a split in the middle, uh, different. 10 amp max, 600 volts, CAT3 is the rating. Um, all in all, not bad. The shrouding as well, nice and long. Oh yeah, in there, really tight, really snug. And yeah, it's not going anywhere. So fit and finish, pretty decent. Really nice feature set as well on the 206D. Um, yeah, this thing is loaded for such a small meter. I'm telling you, Kaiweets did not miss a thing. If you have big fingers, you might. And I'm saying you might find that selector switch a tiny bit on the small side. Um, you have to sort of dig in there, but boy, it is super reactive. Clickety-click, clackety-clack. Super sweet. Now, of course, a lot of folks aren't going to be using that selector switch like a normal multimeter. No, they'll have their thumb doing this. And in that case, it's going to be just fine. Those little grooves really help give you that uh, movement on that rotary selector. And even if you have gloves on, hey, no worries. No problem at all there. And if you take a look at those jack inputs, oh my gosh, they are not color coded. So they're both black, but no, they're not both common. One is actually uh, for the volts and the current, but hey, you know what? Uh, I don't know why. I don't know why it's such a big deal. Please, if you're listening, and I know you are, Kaiweets, in future, can we color code those inputs? Thank you. DC accuracy test to start things off and beautiful 5.004 volts. Oh, excellente. Good job, Kaiweets. Ah, sea of Kaiweets. What a beautiful thing. Let's take a closer look at the selector switch starting at the off position. 600 amps ACDC. 60 amps ACDC. Volts ACDC. Frequency and duty cycle up to 10 megahertz. Diode, capacitance, continuity and resistance. Dual temperature, Celsius and Fahrenheit. Finally, low zero. Bottom of the meter, we have our multifunction keys starting on the left with the ZF. In the middle, we have our max min. And finally, on the right, we have our flashlight backlight. 
On the side of the meter, we also have the one touch hold button and the non-contact voltage. The LCD display itself, 6,000 counts. It's not bad, um, definitely nothing special. It does have a backlight, which unfortunately goes off after about 15 seconds. But, um, you know, it's okay, not the greatest out there. I think contrast is a little bit to be desired. Um, depending on your viewing angle, you can lose it. So, eh, it's okay. Time to test some diodes. Here we go, starting off with standard diode. 0.55 eighth of a volt, and we have no audible beep. Oh, that's too bad. Okay, here we go, onto an LED. It is lit, the forward voltage drop, same for the yellow, the green same blue and white well look at that five out of five in terms of illumination and a forward voltage drop indication good job just missing missing that audible beep that would have been just oh awesome output voltage in diode mode is a very respectable 3.2 volts oh i know what you're wondering and yes not to worry that 208d will be part of this week's reviews and by the way it's also going to be one of the prize giveaways at the end of the week Ooh, love it Hey, see you later. Speaking of prize giveaways, remember, like, subscribe, and comment, and you're automatically entered to win one of these two beautiful beaters. Oh man, two lucky prize winners. We'll get these. Could be you. All right, it's continuity time. Default test leads, three, two, one. Well, it's a little slow, it is latched. Not that loud. Mm, let's try the Probe Masters. Chihuahua, Probe Master time. Definitely faster. Still, uh, you know, not the greatest out there. I'm gonna give that about a six and a half, maybe a seven out of 10. Sixty-two decibels, maximum output volume and continuity. Oh, it is on the low side. Now, by the way, one thing I just noticed only with the Pro Masters is then when you have that continuity connect, yeah, the light stays on, but it takes a long time. Now, it's a good feature, half a visual, but yeah, it just takes too long to illuminate. Let's try a quick resistance test. Sitting at nine mega ohms right now, down to eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, one. So yeah, range speed is excellent. Alrighty, how about accuracy? Alrighty, here we go, sitting at 100K. It's looking good, spot on. 10K. Yes, spot on again, beauty. 1K. Oh yeah. 100 ohm. Bring it home to mama. 10 ohm. And yeah, we are losing it there. Well, there we go, there we go. Took a while, but we're there. 10 ohm, spot on. Finally, one ohm. 1.1, yes. So, wow, hey, accuracy-wise and resistance ranges. Great job, Kaiwitz. Okay, we have a 100,000 microfarad capacitor. Let's see how this little Kaiwitz is gonna fare. Oh, give us an OL. Oh, there we are. Hey, 98.83, yes. So it, oh, success. Success for 100 millifarad, excellent. Well, good stuff. How are you in the low ranges? Let's find out quickly, shall we? Sitting at three microfarad right now. And there we are, 2.7 coming up. Let's try two microfarad. And it's coming in as 1.78-ish. Okay, let's try 2.9 microfarad. Coming up, it's 2.5, 2.99, 2 2.65, and finally 2.999. Remember, this is a 6,000 count. And there you go. So, you know what? Not bad, not bad at all. So, low capacitance, high capacitance, this little Kaiwitz has you covered. Sitting at just over 32 volts right now. Let's see if we bring it down a little bit. 21.53, coming up as 21.4. And down to 14.3 volts, coming up as 14.37. 
And finally, let's rock and roll all the way down to 6.58. 6.58. Nice. 1.12, 1.128. Okay. Now, when you are in high voltage, uh, even at 30 volts, you're not getting a high voltage alert. Uh, that's kind of too bad. But um, anyway, accuracy rise, it seems pretty decent. Two current settings on the clamp, 60 amps ACDC and 600 amps ACDC. Make sure when you're working on the lower range, you have it set to 60. Much better resolution. Here we go. We're now have it hooked up to an AC splitter. And as you can see, we're pulling in just over six amps. It's plugged into a uh, ceramic heater right now. Six amps. And let's just crank it up a little bit, shall we? And I've uh, put it on the highest level now. And look at that. Whoa, 15 amps. Okay, let's bring it back down. And you'll see when we get over that threshold of three amps, it's going to enter into that uh, amber alert mode. And there you go. Really nice safety feature to have, I gotta say, awesome. We also have that max min feature as well. Hit the max and we can get the uh, maximum. Let it go a little bit higher. And if we hit the min, you can see that was the lowest recorded current on the AC range. So max min, super handy dandy, can't beat it on any meter, especially a clamp. Pretty decent flashlight on this clamp as well. Definitely going to come in handy. It's right there in the middle of the jaws. So when you are probing in the dark, you're going to definitely have a help in hand. Good stuff. NCV mode is next. Now to invoke it on the side of the meter, as I mentioned before, we have that one NCV button. Press it down once. That's it. Doesn't matter what range you're on at all. Once you're in NCV mode, start probing for a high power source. And wow, when it finds a really good power source, it does turn amber once again. Let's try it on the mains. Look at that. That's what you want to see in NCV. And finally, my deep dark mains panel. No worries here. Oh yeah. And once again, that orange hue, that amber alert just looks amazing. AC voltage now, here we are with the household mains, 121 volts looking good, 120 volts thereabouts here in North America. Okay, now as well with the meter, we can find out our frequency. And there it is, 60 hertz. And now we are in LPF mode, low pass filter, uh, taking out any ghost voltage, so to speak. And there we are, 121.8 again. So decent set of features here on this little clamp for AC mode. Unfortunately, there's no ambient sensor on board the uh, Kiwi's clamp, unfortunately, but use that additional thermocouple which ships with the meter and you'll be good to go. And once again, you have the dual temperature as well. So we've got Celsius 19 degrees and in Fahrenheit, it is a whopping 66. Easy access to the battery housing with a uh, one screw, one Phillips screw. And once that's removed, we have those two AAA batteries. And uh, look at that nice brass threaded insert as well. Uh, two more screws to remove the rest of the meter, although chances are you're probably not gonna have to do this ever. Here we are, teardown time, taking a look at the inside of this Kiwi's clamp. Start off with those uh, input jacks. Uh, they are of the split variety and they are soldered quite nicely to that PCB. On there we see this is version 1.6 uh, HT206B. Um, what else do we have? Oh my goodness, do my eyes deceive me or what? No, they don't. That is the DM1106EN IC. So that is the brains of the clamp right here. DM1106EN, uh, that is a highly capable, but really not quite current IC. That was replaced um, by the DTM0660L, which we see in a lot of multimeters today. Basically, it's a rebranded or a cloned, however you want to look at it, high contact uh, HY12P66, but quite capable and definitely uh, a good, good set of brains. A couple PTCs over here on the voltage side. There is our speaker, uh, crystal oscillator, the uh, battery terminal springs, and of course uh, the claws themselves. Now inside those claws, I'm not going to rip them apart, but inside those, that's where we have the conductors. And uh, basically a clamp uses magnetic induction and it converts uh, the current flow uh, in through the conductor and that's how it does the readings. Uh, it's really not that complicated, but uh, 
quite interesting. Anyway, all in all, looks pretty decent, I have to say. Um, a nice PCB. And look, they even put a D there for Darren. Okay, it's, it was a nice thought. Okay, we're gonna put it back together. Come back with my closing thoughts. Closing thoughts on the Kiwi's HT 206D clamp meter. It's a good one. Yes, this little meter can do a lot. It is small but sturdy. And darn it, I love the trigger action. This one has a really good feel. Those jaws are just the right size. And all in all, you can throw this in your car or glove compartment or, um, you know what I'm saying? It's small, it's portable. Gotta say that backlight was insanely too short. Please, Kaiweeds, next time around, give us a backlight that stays on permanently. And not a big fan of that LCD display either. Uh, kind of may blase in the LCD department. I think they can do better. However, generally speaking, if you're looking for a clamp that pretty well does it all, I mean, this thing is feature packed. I couldn't even go through every single feature in today's review. Nonetheless, it is a solid choice. The Kaiweeds HT. 2060 gets a solid 3.5 out of 5 stars. Hey, thanks for watching this Kaiwitz extravaganza, everybody! More coming, stay tuned. Till the next one, keep on testing.